we first brought you last year, a Minnesota man declared dead by the IRS. Mm, problem is, he's not only alive, he's been paying taxes over the last 18 years. Fox News Iris Perez joining us. Iris, this is a case that's even left state lawmakers confused. Jeff, that's right. A rep with Senator Klobuchar's office says it's outrageous that Adam continues to have problems filing his tax returns. Tonight, Adam is a year older. His family is growing, and so is the amount of money he says Uncle Sam owes him. I'm just kind of at my wit's end at this point. At 34 years old, Adam Ronning of Minnetonka considers himself a devout taxpayer. When he was 16, Adam got his first job at Radio Shack and made sure Uncle Sam got his share ever since. Yet the way the IRS sees it, Adam took his last breath 30 years ago. And they didn't send a reason to me or my mother. A hardworking dead man, Adam has both state and federal taxes withheld from his biweekly paychecks. But because of the mix-up since 2009, Adam only gets a partial tax return at best or not a single penny at worst. I'm sure if I owed them, they would charge me interest. The busy father of three has tried to prove he's alive through phone calls, visits to the Social Security Administration, and letters to the IRS. It's kind of like beating your head against the wall. By Adam's estimate, Uncle Sam now owes him at least $27,000 in back returns. If, if they would like to, to prick my blood and check my DNA or scan my driver's license or whatever other hoop that I need to jump through to jump through to make sure that they got this straightened out. I'm willing to do it. Last year, even Senator Amy Klobuchar stepped in to help. Uh, the last thing I heard from them is everything was resolved. But the IRS wouldn't confirm Adam's deceased status was deleted on their end. And this week, H&R Block made it clear to the IRS, Adam is still a dead man walking. We thought we had come to the end of the rainbow, and alas, we haven't. I did reach out to the IRS for comment this afternoon, but they have yet to get back to me. Meanwhile, Senator Klobuchar hopes to get a clear answer about Adam's case within the next two days and hopefully get this resolved once and for all. Jeff, Kelsey, back to you. <laughs>